say water jelly crystals. There are those who believe that when you grow up, you lose your sense of wonder, that there's no such place as Neverland and fairy dust doesn't exist. Put it in the hot water, put it inside, you can now see true convection currents. If science has a Peter Pan, his name must be Steve Spangler. And he's met many Wendy's and lost boys who grew up to be teachers. We have been doing experiments with color, with glow, with density, and we're just learning all sorts of different things, things for little kids, things for high schools. I teach third grade, so I'm able to find a perfect balance of everything that we are learning. So it's not boring at all. These teachers are really afraid of teaching science, but they all are here for one reason, and that is to get kids excited about science. The real problem that we're in right now is that science is slipping in some areas of the country as an extracurricular activity. Once a science teacher himself, Steve wants to turn these women and men into rock stars in the classroom. When the teachers get excited, the kids get excited, and so you have to model that. Well, I was one of those kids, I hated science, but being a teacher, I've got to find a way to make it fun. His methods are unconventional, even a bit outrageous. There's no potato popping in this room. Some of your aim is horrible. <laughs> a little thing with a potato and calling Causing a potato to fly back and forth might be a great way to get kids excited about learning. Go! But Steve finds the boy and girl inside every teacher, giving learning the chance to take flight. When a teacher is inspired by science, the children are inspired. Children's minds are the most wonderful gift that we have. The children that we teach today are our future. The ideas, the philosophies, and the inspiration that we give them will be the world that we have in the next century. You've got to raise the I wonder factor. I wonder why that color just turned blue. It's not exactly pixie dust, just a potato, plunger, and plastic tube. Compressed air provides the science and the chance for teachers to bring wonder into the classroom. The job that we do and the inspiration that people like Steve give us is pure magic. We're done! Okay, let's go.